Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Schmeichel here from Lamb of God Lutheran Church in Madison, Alabama, with our Thursday afternoon video devotion. And today we're looking at one of Jesus' parables. This was the gospel from this last Sunday, Jesus' parable of the sower and the seed. Uh, Jesus describes many different types of soil on which the seed is sown. The seed is good seed. And yet, the seed doesn't always grow. When it's thrown on the path, it gets eaten before it can even sprout. Rocky soil, it springs up quickly, but dies off when the sun comes out because it has no root system. The weeds, the thorns, choke off the other, other seed that grows up. And then there's some seed that falls on good ground that actually produces the crop. Jesus describes this parable for us in detail, so we know exactly what Jesus is talking about. It's the way that his word works. Jesus doesn't ask us to convince anyone about the truth of his word and what he has done for us and for the world. What Jesus asks us to do is to sow the seed. He will take care of it. He will cause it to grow where he knows it's going to grow. God's word is a powerful tool in our lives. What Jesus wants us to remember in this parable is to remember the power of the word and to continue to use that word, whether it's for our own growth or to share it with those who don't know Jesus or need to know Jesus better. There's so many other things we'd like to try. We want to convince them from other things. We want to beat God's word into them. We, we want to say it so convincingly that there's no way they can't believe it. And yet, God says the power of the sinful human heart is such that we can't do anything to change that. Only the power of God's word. That is the power. That is the truth of God's word. The power of God's word reminds us day in and day out that it and it alone produces the harvest in our lives. And what a blessing that it is because we are far too fickle. But when we share God's word with people, we realize that sometimes it seems like it's falling on deaf ears. And sometimes we're disheartened as people who seem to be on fire for Jesus. We see that fire go out, or we see the things of this world trap and pull people away from the truth of God's word. That's not a fault of God's word. The word works. Sinful human hearts, unfortunately, they don't want to listen. And that's the reality of what we live with in our lives. All of us have that in us. And that's why there are days when we wake up and we just don't feel like hearing God's word. There's Sundays when we wake up, and I don't want to go to church. I don't want to listen to a service online today. It's too nice of a day. I've got too many other things to do. We do it all the time, don't we? It's only by God's grace that we cling to the truth of what Jesus has done for us. These promises that are there in the word. So treasure that word. Keep using that word. Because the word works. God bless your day.